Hello everyone and welcome to Rodina. Rodina is an open world space RPG and I think it's pretty damn cool. I've been playing it for a little while. It's a lot of fun. Basically, you know, you have a ship and you can fly around wherever you want to go. There are no loading screens, which is what I think is really cool. So you can just fly around and go to planets and all that fun stuff. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and start a new game and I'll show you what it's all about. So you start off and you jump right into the game from the menu um, into this planet. I guess it's a, a moon. I'd probably call it a moon or an asteroid of some sort because I don't think we're going around any kind of planet. Anyway, you're given a serial number. It says it just gives you the same serial number every time. I do believe. Anyway, that uh, that gives you a name. It asks you to give a name. I guess it calls you Sarah. I'm not gonna be Sarah. I'm gonna be Matt. That's my name. All right, my name is Matt. I'll acknowledge that. Anyway, we're given a little blip on our uh, on our screen over here, so we're just gonna follow that. It will actually bring us to our ship. So we're gonna go to our ship, and then we can uh, basically explore the explore the galaxy. There are a few things we have to do first, I guess. Um, one of those things is actually collect power ups so that we can use our spaceship to actually go really far. Because right now our spaceship is only basically equipped to fly around a little bit. I think that it can go into like combat speed, but it can't go into a cruise speed, and it can't go into a uh, it's called a liminal drive where you go extremely fast, and uh, you use that to get to other stuff. So anyway, we're gonna go into the airlock, and that brings us into our ship. And there's a computer right here. And if you actually access this computer, you can modify the ship layout. So here's our ship. It shows all the parts. You can right-click and drag it around. And basically, you can put tile sets and entities and decorations and all that fun stuff there. You can, you know, choose. I don't know what you can and can't do. I haven't really messed around with it. But basically, you can move stuff around and uh, you know decorate it and make it your own little spaceship which I think is pretty cool we're not gonna mess around with that now I just want to show you that it's there I guess we have to open our airlock again so anyway you can explore the ship if you want there's an operations computer all I can all I know that it tells you is uh, ship health I'm not really sure what else it can do probably other stuff that I haven't figured out yet um, you can you know ex go around and explore see what's around crates and barrels don't really have anything in, in them but there is storage closets for whatever reason decoration I suppose so we come in here and we walk over here and we get a pilot station so we can pop up in here hold space and space will lift you up in the air W uh, S A and D bring you left right forward backwards all that stuff and uh, yeah you have to it tells you what to do right mouse button to engage clutch you hold on that and then you press up to shift into the next speed which is combat speed and if you fly around a little bit, you'll actually see that there's going to be something popping up over here. There you go. A plus. So we have to fly to a different part of the planet. And once we fly there, we can actually uh, pick up the first upgrade that we'll get for our ship. And I think basically the point of the game is um, there's some kind of disaster um, of the people that you... Uh, your your people, I suppose, have some kind of disaster. Uh, should, should have probably showed you the... Um, the little message relay station that that you get your messages sent to. I'll show you that after. But basically, we fly over here, and we're gonna have to pick up some stuff. I'm really bad at landing, so don't judge me. I'm just gonna chill out right here. Press tab, and you can go back into your ship. Okay, here's a message place. What's that called? Pilot wave radio. Okay. Urgent message. Citizen, the mission is in danger. Our brave vanguard has been attacked by ships of unknown origin. Your fellow colonists have been scattered and destroyed. It is by providence alone that you have survived. Yada, yada, yada. Great ship, Rodina, will enter the system in but a few scant years. Okay, all that fun stuff. Uh, you need to help them out with a mission. Outfit with more powerful drive, one capable of traversing the blackness of space. Go and acquire one. So that's our first task, I guess, is to, to acquire a drive that will allow us to traverse the blackness of space. So let's go out and get our thingy that we need. Okay, so uh, we pop out of our ship and there's a thing over here. That's actually the thing we're supposed to get. The main thing. There's also this thing here. This is actually a data stick. And that will tell you, uh, this one says memo to all parents, teachers, and caretakers. Vessel, yada, yada, yada. Hull breach. That just gives you a uh, little bonus information, I guess, about the world. It's not really important, but this is. This is a cruise engine upgrade, and that will allow you to travel to other asteroids. Look up to find the radar signals of heavenly bodies. And look at that. There are asteroids, a fuck ton of them, all over the sky, and you can just go and uh, land on those things. There will sometimes be enemies there that you have to fight with your with your ship and shoot stuff at it and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to another asteroid. And uh, we're going to collect collect more stuff. Basically what we're looking for right now is a crystal. 
crystal will uh, will be put into our liminal drive, and that will allow us to go even faster. And everyone likes to go fast when you're driving a spaceship. That's just how it is. By the way, as you can tell, the graphics aren't amazing in this game. It's not really graphic focused. It's more focused on the gameplay and the ability to just go wherever you want in a seamless environment. You don't have any loading screens. As you can see, everything kind of just pops in as you go. It's procedurally generated, I do believe. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get to this one over here. We're in cruising speed now. And uh, you can tell what speed you're in because uh, it's a different color. This one is just all blue. This one has like a white in the center and then blue out around it. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to be too far away. I don't think any of these ones are too far away. I'm not really sure about what shows up when on your uh, on your screen because th these ones here show up. I'm not sure if there are other ones that don't show up that are further away, but we need to be in combat speed. So we'll get in combat speed, or maybe we need to get closer first. Okay, now we're closer. Now we're in combat speed. There's a ship over here. He doesn't like you. Speed up to combat again, or cruising speed again. Okay, there he is. Now he's gonna shoot at you. So, so you can uh, you can go left and right still, and uh, you're just trying to kill him. It's kind of hard. The combat in this game is hard. Steering is hard. You can actually set the difficulty yourself, and I think that that actually sets how easy it is to turn and things like that. Because uh, yeah, one of the things in this game is you have some kind of acceleration thing on the go with your mouse, and it makes it really hard to turn. And uh, I, w I would call it a feature, not necessarily a bad thing. It just makes the game a bit more challenging. Okay, that guy's gone. He's just going to fly towards there. Hopefully he's going to blow up when he gets there. I'm not really sure. Nope, he's just going to gonna hang out there. Okay. Usually they fly off into space, so I've never really seen one actually hit the ground before. That's what they do, apparently. Okay, we're still in combat speed. We're getting docking speed. You also have Q and E functions. I didn't mention those, but those will allow you to flip over so you don't, you know, uh, fly upside down into a, um, an asteroid. Okay. Apparently the ship has landed. I wouldn't really call it much of a landing, but I'm really bad at parking. <laughs> I What I usually do is I hold control so that it fires into the ground so I don't move anywhere. And it seems to work really well for me. I don't know if you call that cheating or not, but, you know, the ground is pretty on level, so... I don't know what else you're supposed to do about it. Okay, there's that spaceship just burning up over there. Now, I have had this game crash quite a bit, so I'm just going to do a quick save. I don't know if it just has something to do with my computer or if it's a general problem, but I don't think the developer has said it happened to that many people. Okay, here's another communication device that will allow you to read more of the encrypt encrypted communications on the FTL radio. Okay, so we haven't got a communi communication device yet, so I shouldn't call it an another one. But anyway, that's a communication device, and we also have... Another data stick. All right. Anomalies in the signal field. Let me know what you think. We'll add that to our archives. That's cool. And that's all that's on this planet. So we'll jump ahead and go to another one. That's actually not a planet. I shouldn't call them planets. I should use the right term. They're called asteroids. So we're currently exploring asteroids, but you can go to planets eventually. Oh, crap. Where's the other side of my ship? I think it's over this way. Okay. There she is. All right, why don't we go back to the uh, communication area, the pilot wave radio, and we'll check what our encrypted communications have. So here we go. Uh, pending data transfer, this kind of thing. Incoming transmission, 97% confidence. Rodina, please respond. Rodina, this is Vanguard comms, please respond. This is Rodina missions comms, we read you, give us your status. Um, hostile contacts, I guess that's probably the... Uh, the whole story of what happened. I'm not really sure. We're not going to read all that. That would probably be a bit of a waste of time for me to do that in the video. Let's go ahead and go to another planet. Uh, where is the closest asteroid? Probably right over here. This one looks to be pretty close. So hopefully it won't take us too long to get there. Okay, there's one over here. And there's also uh, two more that seem pretty damn close. I don't see any uh, I don't see any bad people on this one. That's a good thing. We'll just float around here. Slowly go around it. Oh, might as well go down into combat speed now. Nope, too damn slow. Cruising it is. I like cruising around. Ah. Uh, I like that it automatically rotates you. Is there nothing on this one? Come on, where is it? Oh there it is, okay. That's cool. So, get kind of close to it, shift down into combat speed, 
Damn it, it's so far away, you really don't understand how far away it is until you're almost there. Honestly, this game makes me feel like a badass when I'm just flying around in space with this epic music playing in the background. Another data stick, add that to archives, and this thing, which is another communication decryption key. That'll give us more stuff in our computer. That's cool. Let's get back in the ship. Alright, just so you know, we're not going to end this video until we get to, uh, we get our liminal drive so we can go explore another planet, because that would be cool. Okay, how about one of these guys over here? I gotta find out which ones I have and haven't, uh, been on. They don't look that far away, but you, like I said, you can't really tell. This one looks kind of close. We're going to this one. Alright, let's see what you got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, I can't drive this thing. I can't drive this thing. Whoop. Oh, is there two locations on this one? I don't think I've had that happen yet. Alright, here comes combat. Damn, this guy seems really far away. Come on. Come over. Never gonna hit him from here. Get up! Up, up, up. You can never tell how much damage you have done on them. I don't know if it even there's even any way to check. Ah! Oh, holy shit! I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> okay, I think I I think I made him turn yellow. Then I think that might be a good thing. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! This game supports gamepad, but I don't know if I'd uh, I don't know if it'd be any better for me or not. There we go. Gotcha. Now, I'm gonna fly down to one of these two locations right now. I hope that means that we'll have. Uh, Lots of stuff here to get. I need to get that crystal. Is this the crystal now? I think it might be. If it is, we're doing good. Okay, I'm super sad because uh, my game just crashed. I think we were going to this one here. Uh, the dev actually told me that the reason my he thinks the reason my game is crashing is because of music. But there's no way I'm turning off this epic music. You guys need to hear it because it's freaking amazing. Come on! Oh, I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him! What? Ah, oh, I'm so surprised I didn't get him then. I thought I hit him with like a million pieces. There we go, now we got him. You can just, uh... Oh crap, I'm lost! There's no more asteroid! This way? There we go. Cool! So, um, yeah, I gotta remind myself to save a lot, because saving is extremely is extremely important when your, uh, when your game tends to crash on you. Oh crap, I'm on my side. I'm on my side. What the hell is up with that? There we go. Here's our crystal! We found it! Okay. Draconium crystal. Draconium crystals are used to power the liminal drive. Now you can travel much faster across the solar system. That's wonderful. Okay, now where's that, uh, where's that data thing? It's around here somewhere. There it is. Let's go get that and then we'll, uh, we'll travel across the solar system. Okay. The inhumanity of automatons. That's cool. I can read that later. You know? Okay, um, I don't really know if we even need to, uh, I don't think we need to even get the other one on this planet. Is it still here? It should still be here. But, uh, yeah. And don't mind me, I'm probably gonna keep calling asteroids planets because I'm just so used to large rocks floating in space, I tend to just call them planets, so deal with it. And I'm not even gonna use my docking mode, apparently, I'm just gonna fly around in combat mode until I land. Whoop! It adds to the fun, okay? Stop! I can get out. There you go. I'm out. Okay, apparently another crystal is here. I don't know if that's really supposed to be a thing. Yeah, probably not. Because I don't really think that you need to have uh, another crystal at any point. But it's nice to have, you know, just for uh, just for fun. So you can say, hey man, I got two draconium crystals. What are you going to do about it? Okay, maybe, maybe I'm walking funny because my ship is so sideways. Whoop! Yeah, you see this? Now on our map it shows the sun and it shows question marks. So basically those are planets that you can go to, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you tap up now, you go into a liminal drive, and it's really hard to steer, but you can do it. It's just, uh, basically it's just harder to move the mouse. The mouse sensitivity is lower, and you need to kind of just throw your mouse across your mouse pad to get it to uh, steer. But uh, it's all part of the fun. So, it takes quite a while still to get to the question mark, but it's because we're so damn far away. So, there it is, there it is, stop, 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 stop! Shit, where'd that go? Here? Ah, there we go, look at that thing. 
beautiful little planet. I'm gonna go into cruising speed. I could probably speed it up a little bit by going into liminal drive. That's not a good idea. Perun. Perun? P, P run? Oh, a P run. Okay. Alright, guys, I'll be back. I gotta go on a P run. The red things, I'm guessing those are evil. There are all kinds of pluses around this planet. I'm not sure what those pluses are. But there's a giant red thing right here, and I want to go there and find out. Let's save our game first so that we don't, uh, we don't die and lose progress. Okay, game has been saved. Let's, uh, let's check out that. We're approaching Perun. Now, I must tell you, entering a planet, re-entry, is extremely difficult. Okay, extremely difficult. <laughs> it's, you basically have to point your ship at the planet, but you have to go at the right angle, because if you go too, uh... If you're angled too much towards the planet, you'll burn up. And if you're not angled uh, towards the planet enough, you'll just get pushed out of the atmosphere or something like that. It's really strange. But, uh, yeah. I kind of I kind of managed to do it before, so I'm, I'm guessing I'll be able to do it again. Okay, I think we're almost there. What is that thing? Is it just a ship? Okay, it's just a ship. I'm going to beat the shit out of this ship. Okay, it is firing... Oh crap, those are missiles. Oh no. I sh probably shouldn't have come here. Should not have come here. Should not have come here. Okay, shoot the missiles. Shoot the missiles. They are missile locked on me. Missiles locked. Okay. Okay, yeah, this this was a bad idea. I should not have come here. Liminal drive because I'm lazy. Oh, 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 oh. I nearly died. This is the... Uh, <laughs> I made it to the planet extremely quick. That was crazy. Okay. We're going to go to this one. I think this one is close. Is it close? How am I supposed to know? Damn it. Okay, we're going to assume that... No, no, not that one. This one here. We're going to assume that this one over here is pretty close. I don't know what's going on on my ship. I think I might have fucked it up when I uh, when I basically crashed into the atmosphere of this planet. But we're alive, so that's, so that's good. Okay, I think we may actually be getting decently close to this thing. I have been flying for several minutes, and I feel like I'm getting nowhere. Holy crap. And I can't even switch into liminal drive because it won't let me. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe. Maybe I was too far into the planet and it was slowing me down. Maybe that was what was the problem. Oh, damn. That is, uh... That is, that is good, I guess. <laughs> that apparently the planet, I was in the thick atmosphere of the planet, and that's why it was taking so long for me to actually fly towards this thing. It's a good thing I decided to fly up a little higher. Man, that was a, that was a slight waste of time. Okay, we're almost to this thing. Engaging combat mode. No, not yet, not yet. It's quite far away still. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, apparently I was right in the atmosphere before. That was the problem. So do I have to actually get in here? I guess I have to actually enter this planet before it'll let me, uh... Okay, yes, yeah, a steep re-entry, I know. How am I gonna get in this thing? Okay, okay, I just gotta wiggle my mouse around a bunch to try and get in here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Yep. It's, we're getting there, I think. I think we may be getting closer and closer to the planet, but don't quote me on that. Nope, that's a steep, that's, that's a steep one. Come on, come on. No, don't die on me. Don't die on me. Okay, okay, nope, don't don't go back up again. You don't want to go up, you want to go down. Go down. Damn it, I said go down! Go down! I'm just like flying sideways here now, it doesn't even matter. I don't care anymore. <gasps> oh, I did it! Fancy music, thank you very much for the fancy music. That was great. I appreciate it. Okay, now we are in where we need to be. And there's, uh, yeah, the red thing apparently is right over here. Apparently it's waiting for me at this thing. Okay, we're not ready to go there yet. I need to get used to, to distances. Okay, that's a that's an interesting red thing. Don't tell me you're shooting missiles at me too, you bastard. You piece of shit. Okay. Yep, you want, might want to blow those up. Don't hurt me, man. I was I was kidding. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you ever do that again. That was that was a bit much for me. All right, I'm hitting him with these things. I don't know how much I actually have to... Oh, 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 no. <sighs> this game is harder than I thought, okay? 
didn't realize it was so hard. I didn't realize that guy was camping out on a piece of uh, piece of goodies. So um, let's just spin around for a minute, going through a nice little corkscrew, and uh, I guess we'll try and just fly down and collect something on the planet, and then we'll uh, we'll finish this video up. Okay, where is uh, where is the something that we can? Oh, there's one. There's one down here. Look, we'll just uh, we'll just avoid this spaceship. Yep, we're avoiding the shit out of that thing. Cause those uh, those guys are not not too uh, fond of me. Maybe we can get like some uh, combat upgrades or something that'll make it a bit easier for us. But uh, basically, we gotta fly down there. So we'll try and re-enter again. Last time it went okay, I guess. Okay, yeah, we slowed down a shit ton. Should we should we maybe enter a bit closer? No, no, it's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it here. It's all good. There we go. Yep, just keep I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my cursor the best I can onto that thing over there. Uh, that's not gonna work. Okay. Yeah, basically just try and point it down if you can. And if you can't, that's cool too. But uh, eventually you'll get into the into the planet. No worries. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. We're getting there. We're getting there, right? I can't even tell. I can never I can never tell how close I am because the whole screen is freaking shaking. Okay, yeah, we're almost in. We're almost in. I can feel it. I can feel it. I feel like it's not as bumpy now. I'm just gonna keep trying to fly towards that thing. I can barely see it, but it's there somewhere. Yep, there's a little something there. Come on, just a little bit further. Come on, just get down. I feel like I'm gonna crash into the planet, but it's it's funny because I'm totally not gonna do that. Okay, we're out. We're out. Da da. Okay, what do we got waiting for us here? Please be something good because I just went through a lot of work and I died twice and I'm just feeling in general I'm just feeling kind of bad right now. So let's just uh let's get something here to cheer us up. The planet's not even interesting. Look at that. Okay, combat speed. We can we can land in combat speed. We learned that the the easy way by actually doing it. There we go. Okay. Woo. And docking <laughs> or something. There we go. We have landed. Let's open the airlock out. Get out of here. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Goodies. Empty barrels and empty chests. Maybe they're not empty. Maybe I haven't found the right button. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! I pressed the F key and I picked it up. They're my chests now, bitches. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Data stick! Okay, psych eval results from Mila plus shopping list. Of course you need a shopping list with your psych evaluation. And finally, a communication decryption key. And that uh, that does something fancy, I suppose. I guess there's a, there must be another kind of drive we uh, have to use to get other places because... Well, that looks like it's the sun or something. A star, I guess. And there are, you know, stuff revolving around it. I'm not really sure what else you can do in this game, but... Uh, yeah, that's the that's the game. It's uh it's a lot of fun, I think. It's very interesting. The music is great. You can pick this game up for two dollars for the current version. And basically the way it works is you get to play the current version of the game. Now that doesn't mean like I'm running 1.03 right now. I bought the game when it was 1.01 and I can still upgrade. So don't think that means that you won't be able to do anything. But you can purchase the game for two dollars or more, and if you purchase the game for fifteen dollars, you will get the full game, all upgrades when they come out, that kind of thing. So if you guys like this game, you can check it out. I'll put links in the description. This was Rodina. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.